everybody. It's me, Kayla Friday. Welcome back to my channel, Little Cava Junkin. I'm so glad you're here, and um, I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video in a little while. As you all know, um, junkin is my hobby and a passion, but I do work full-time as a nurse at a local hospital, so I just kind of am able to do this when I can, but hopefully soon I'll be able to put out more videos and kind of get in the groove and figure out time management a little bit better. But I'm so glad you're here. If you haven't already, remember to hit like and subscribe um, and become a part of our Little Cahaba Junkin' family. Um, but thankfully this week I was able to get out a couple of days after work and go junkin at some of my favorite spots. Um, so if you're interested in seeing the junkin haul and seeing where I go, then stick around and you'll see in the video. And at the end, I'm gonna do a little haul and share with you everything that I found. Um, the first place that you're going to see is a thrift store that we've been to before, um, America's Thrift Store in Alabaster, Alabama. And then the second place is a thrift store here in Clanton. It's located in the old Chilton County Hospital. Um, it has beautiful pieces, but it is not a traditional thrift store and definitely does not have traditional thrift store prices. Um, but there are lots of really neat things there to look at. And then the third place I went is absolutely one of my favorite places in the world called Rustic Relics. It is a vintage shop here in Clanton, on down in downtown Clanton, um, right off of 31. If you're local and you haven't been, you have to go. And even if you're, you're within a couple of hours, it's definitely worth the trip. Um, but I'm gonna take you along with me there and you'll see some of my favorite booths. And then like I said at the end, I'll share with you everything that I found. So if you're interested, stick around and let's go shopping. Lots of Easter bunnies for upcoming Easter. It's right around the corner. If my mama doesn't get me a basket this year, y'all, I'm going to be toe up. Oh, he's cute. Little basket. Lots of mugs. I have a thousand mugs. I don't need any. Ooh. This is adorable. You're going to come home with me. Tommy Bahama. What? This is an expensive brand, y'all. That's why I love to thrift. All right. What else can we find? Lots of baskets. Oh, this guy's kind of cute down here. The little bunny. That would be really cute with some greenery attached. Oh, my gosh. Five Nights at Freddy's. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. not seeing anything else that I need lots and lots of baskets this is a great place to come if you need baskets this would be cute with some tulips maybe for spring I don't know though oh this is pretty too be gorgeous with a house plant sitting in it all right let's see I'm not seeing a whole lot oh these are kind of pretty those would be pretty on either side of a picture or in a gallery wall some brass this one's cute but i really don't need it i don't need anything but y'all know me let's see hmm Praying hands. Every church I've ever been in has had those. They're so cute, though. Tribal bowl. Not really my style. Oh, Big Ben. Big Ben, you're coming home with me. Sitting a real old one, but it's worth three bucks. In the buggy you go. Let's see. What else? It's a cute old clock. Oh, this is a pretty mantle clock. Love that, too. All right. Oh, these are cute. Those are really cute. I really don't need any more. Oh, these are adorable for, like, showers and stuff. Oh, these hold melons. So, I guess, technically, they're, they deserve to go over here in the kitchen stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Everybody thinks I'm cray-cray in here. Let's see. This is pretty. World Market. Those would be pretty if they had a whole set. Oh, 
Cabbage Patch. This might be worth something. I'll look it up on Etsy in a little bit. I'll put it in here for now. Let's see. Not seeing anything else that I need. Super cute. These are pretty, but they're stained. Those would be really pretty to use daily. The music in here gets loud, so hopefully I won't get a copyright strike. I do not own the rights to this music, YouTube. That's a cute little plate. Lots of cute china, but I don't need any of it. I'm not seeing any ironstone. Y'all see anything I'm not seeing? I'll go back later and watch this and see all kind of stuff I should have got. Pretty sure I looked at this last time. Nope, don't need it. There's a finger. Sorry, let me get that out of the way. <laughs> not seeing a lot. Those are cute. Those would be really cute for like 4th of July. Oh, some more farm plates. Those are adorable. Like old, in old England, New England. These are super interesting. I have some brown ones like this. Those are cute. I like those. Not a whole lot of pretty. Oh, I have that. It's here if anybody wants it. Not a whole lot of pretty silver stuff, but these are really cute. I have several pieces kind of like this. Love that too. These people just walk by me and they think I'm a lunatic. <laughs> Neighborhood crazy person is in the thrift store, so stay away. It's cute though. Lots of pretty clear dishes. That would be really cute for like showers, baby showers, bridal showers, stuff like that, if you're hosting it. These look kind of neat and old, but they don't match. They all had the, I don't know. They all had something written on them. Those would be cute. What else? Now this is a pasta bowl. That's about how much pasta I eat. not seeing any that I need. Here's our Mardi Gras one still here. Now this is colorful. Reminds me of the 60s. Oh, another Mardi Gras. Oh, this would be cute for 4th of July, but I have one already. Almost just like it. It's really cute though. Not seeing any cute pillows. Oops, that one's okay. Yeah, it's kind of in bad shape. If some of y'all don't come get this set of things, I'm gonna be toe up. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Let's see. Lots of furniture. Got our buffet still here. It's really cute. Be beautiful in an entryway or in a kitchen. That armoire is pretty. All right, now we're at Clinton outside. Lots of times they have really cute stuff out here. This is the place, y'all, that has the really high prices. It's ridiculously high. Oh, this is cute. Like that. Oh, this little hutch thing is cute. A little secretary. That's adorable. Not paying 230 bucks for it at the thrift store. I told y'all this place is cray cray. 
but lots of really pretty stuff in here. Lots of cute, unique old lamps. I'm looking for a lamp, but I'm not seeing one that I just love. How beautiful would these be? Love all these headboards. Gorgeous. That's a pretty little picture. It's very cute. Be beautiful for April. April showers. Bring May flowers. Not seeing a whole lot that I need, but beautiful head and foot boards. Y'all know I gotta be on the lookout for some vintage books. Let's see. Pretty old Bible. Oh my gosh. I love this. Definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. What else can we see? Let's see. They have lots of really pretty stuff, but their prices are just, like I said, redonkadonk for a thrift store. And I believe everything, all the proceeds go to somewhere local, like a charity type deal. But I'm telling you, they would sell a whole lot more if they would mark down their stuff. I mean, it's just crazy. Some of it's okay, but... Oh, here's our little farm scene that we saw at the other thrift store a few weeks ago. Lots of glassware over here. Ooh, I love that depression glass, but not for 40 bucks. Let's see. Oh, I love that little baby shoe. <laughs> That's cute. Let's see. Ooh, those are pretty. They're gorgeous, but they're a little rich for my blood. They don't even have a dome, and they're asking, like, almost 20 bucks for them. Cute, but no. I love this one, but I'm not paying $18. And it says, no haggling, so I can't even ask them if they'll take less. Now we are in Rustic Relics, one of my favorite places. I could just go crack right in here, y'all. Look at this hutch. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's a pretty mirror too. I really like that. And this is right here, on um, right at the corner here on 31. So if y'all are local, come on in. It's a pretty bushel basket. Mothers are very special. Yes, they are, and mine is the very best. You may think yours is, but I know mine is. <laughs> Let's see. Lots of pretty stuff. Courier and Ives. Recognize that print. This booth always has some pretty stuff. I like that little pie dish. That's cute. 
Oh, vintage matchbooks. Those are adorable. Love that. Okay, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite booths. I love everything. Look at that little baby dress. That's so cute. Be adorable for a nursery. Lots of pretty stuff. Oh, I love that picnic basket. Oh, I love that. Gotta have this if it's affordable. Some old spindles. It looks like they were made into Christmas ornaments. Just gonna get rid of those. Oh yeah, I gotta have that. That's really cute. What else do I need? I don't need anything. Pretty old bottles. I have some gloves like that. Cute, 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 cute. Her booth is so cute. Y'all ignore me, I'm looking cray cray. I love those sewing drawers and that beautiful quilt. This is a good price, 20 bucks. Another booth that I really like. Very cute. Let's see. Again, ignore me looking crazy. It's like some old barber chairs back there. Ooh, that's a pretty chandelier. Holly would love that. Holly Miner would just go cray cray over this. How much is this? Oh wow, 25 bucks. If that works, that's a steal. It's not really my style that I have in my house, but that's really pretty. It's a pretty basket. Oops, somebody's already bought that. Some baby dolls. see. I love this booth, y'all. This is like one of my ultimate favorite booths in here. They have got the best vintage stuff and primitive stuff. I love these clocks. Oh, wow. I love that one. Look at these old games, old Bible game. So cute. These would be adorable around a Christmas tree at Christmas, all these vintage games and stuff. That would be beautiful in a flower bed with flowers in it. Oh my gosh, I just love that. I love this old brown thing, it's always here. So cute. Their prices are pretty good in this booth also. Wish I knew who owned it, where I could ask them where they get all this stuff. Pretty windows. Really cute. This is a really cute little primitive style booth. I love it. Hoppy Easter. Lots of cute stuff. Look at the bunny, that's cute, or a cat. That's adorable. Oh, I spy some vintage uh, kitchen stuff. Add that to my collection, that's adorable. Oh, there's something else, let me grab that. Oh, They got some cute stuff in this booth. Very cute. 
Okie dokie, people. Now is the time to see what mama purchased. <laughs> Y'all know I get super excited and just kind of go cray cray. But I have been doing better. I have been doing so much better and just buying things that I only really like. Trying to stop being such a vintage hoarder. <laughs> but anyway, so we'll start first um, with the first location that I stopped at, which was the Alabaster Thrift Store. Um, and the first thing I purchased, I only purchased two things. But um, it was this Tommy Bahama, um, like rattan wicker purse. And it's called the Sweet Peas of Paradise Large Tote. And it still has the price tag on it for $77. And I got it for four bucks. So I'm actually going to take this. It's just like stitched on here. I'm going to take the Tommy Bahama um, symbol off. And I'm going to hang this probably um, in my bedroom or wherever that peg rack hang, um, ends up for spring. I'm gonna hang it on there and put some florals coming out of it. I thought that would be really cute. And also for um, summer, it would be beautiful with like a flag um, and a, a American flag scarf hanging out of it. I just thought that would be so cute because these types of um, like wicker purses are pretty expensive, even like at Walmart or Target. And this one is really sturdy. Um, and it was in really good shape. Like I said, it's brand new and I got it for four bucks. So mama's winning, mama's winning today. <laughs> All right, the next thing I got, this is not a really old Big Ben, but I did have to have it. I thought it was so cute. It's a Big Ben clock. Um, it was $2.99. Um, like I said, this one's not a super old one, but it is really cute. Um, the really old ones that you see at um, vintage fairs and things like that cost an arm and a leg. So I was super excited to find that one for three dollars Here comes Buster Brown You gonna be in the video buddy? You gonna be in the video? Come on. Come a little bit closer where they can see you <laughs> Y'all he's so heavy. He thinks he's a he thinks he's a chihuahua All right, so the next place that I went obviously was the uh, Clanton thrift store and like I said, oop, Buster just hit something and scared him. Um, like I said, this is a, they have beautiful pieces, but this is not a thrift store with traditional prices. Like I saw a beautiful painting that I just loved, um, but it was $189. Like it was higher than I would pay for it at a booth or at, you know, a vintage fair or something like that. I was, I was not paying that. It's probably worth that, but I just can't bring myself to pay something like that at a thrift store. But they do have really good um, books and a really good selection of vintage books. So I did buy some of those. So the first thing I got was this Ma Dudley's um, Secrets of the Dudley Homestead cookbook. And it has a little inscription. Somebody had bought it as a gift. And I love this. It says, he who enters is a stranger but once. Isn't that true? There's Ma Dudley. I just think she's adorable. I bet she was the sweetest person and could cook so good. But the first several pages tells about her history and how she came to America. Um, her and her husband, it says, were married in 1918 and he passed away in 1954. And after that, she started cooking for her local Lions Club. And um, they all loved her cooking so much. So she created a cookbook. And there's little Ma Dudley. And all these books, so the paperbacks are a dollar. So this was a dollar. And then all the hardbacks are $2 a piece. But the next thing I got was this book. It's not a vintage book. It's actually a fairly new book, but it's called Girl, Wash Your Face. So um, I've heard a couple people say they read it and enjoyed it. I don't know what it's like. I just figured I would just check it out and see. Um, so I purchased it just to read. Um, and the set, last several books I purchased were obviously um, for decor purposes. Um, but it's these four beautiful vintage books. It's called, the first one is The Quest for Meekness and Quietness of the Spirit. And it still has the plastic um, cover, but it's a really pretty red. And then I bought this Voice of Praise hymnal. I actually have one like this. Um, but I just really love it. It's really pretty and old. But this one came from Harvard Avenue Baptist Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then this one is probably my favorite. Um, it's called In His Steps. Look at this gorgeous book. 
I love this green and I love that it has the cross. Um, and it says who it's from and it says to Ella with love um, and best wishes on your trip to Europe. May your stay there be a happy one. And it doesn't say the date that they gave it to her, but ain't that sweet? And it also had this little prayer bookmark in there. So I thought that was really pretty. And then the last book that I got is Ashes to Gold. This is pretty brown book. And it says to Pat, happy birthday, love Audrey. And it was given to her in 86. So I just love finding books, especially ones that have little inscriptions or notes written on the front. I mean, it's just neat because you never know who had that before you and where it all traveled. <laughs> it could have traveled around the whole country. So the last thing that I bought is this old basket. Um, and I just thought this would be adorable for spring. Isn't it cute? It actually says cookies on it, but I'm not gonna put cookies in a basket. <laughs> but I figured I would turn it around and put one of my plants in it. And I just thought that would be beautiful for a spring. I'm really loving these old baskets. Do you hear Buster in there? He's pitching fits, y'all. He's pitching fits. Just like a youngin'. All right, so the last place that I went, obviously, is Rustic Relics, and I found some really good things there. Um, the first thing I'm gonna share with you is this postcard book. It's from the Smithsonian, and it has 24 um, full-color postcards, and I thought this would be so cute to use in my displays um, when I put out my flower frogs. Fairy brand apples, rhubarb, northwest apples, tulip and pears. Aren't these pretty? I just thought they were so neat. And they're actual postcards that you can tear out. So I thought they would be really cute. So I got that. I also got this old vintage brush. These are actually pretty expensive at vintage booths usually, but I got this one for four bucks. So I was really excited when I found it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm definitely gonna have a place for it somewhere. <laughs> if I see something I like, I get it, and then I figure out what to do with it. I don't buy, I don't really go anywhere looking for a specific something to go somewhere unless it's like a big piece, but everything else, I just, if I like it, I get it, and then I stick it somewhere. Um, I also got from a little um, primitive booth there, some more red-handled um, kitchen utensils, kitchen tools. Whoop, here comes Buster again. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. He's got his rope, y'all. He wants mama to play and um, in another booth, I actually got this really pretty, bless your brand, <laughs> this really pretty canister, not canister, but little tin. I just thought it was super cute and would be really pretty for spring. It was $5. I um, mean, I love the rust on it. It has a lot of pretty character. And then, Buster is standing on everything. I got this really, he just hit the camera. I got this really pretty vintage um, watering can for $10. If you know vintage watering cans, that is a really, really good price. Usually they're upwards of 30 bucks. So I had to have that one. And then the last, but most certainly not least, this is probably my favorite find of the um, week. Whoop, let me get situated a little better, is this little tiny Bible. And this was in the same booth as these red handled kitchen utensils. Um, and I was just digging through the booth and on the back, I turned it over to see how much it was. And y'all, free Bible. I was so tore up. I was like, really? These precious people are giving this Bible away. And it was just kind of tucked in there, I guess, waiting for somebody to find it. And I took it up to the front because I would have bought it because y'all know I love my vintage Bibles. Um, and this one is a really nice one that actually has um, the little zipper case, but I took it up there and I said, this says it's free. And I'm, I said, is it really free? She said, yes, ma'am, it's free. So I just, just really touched that the people, who, whoever has that booth was giving away this Bible and it was just waiting for somebody to find it. 
and I hope they know that I will definitely take care of it and cherish it. And that just touched my heart. And I said, well, just thank you, Lord, for for letting me find that and just letting that kindness be shown to me today because it's just been a crazy year, obviously, last year. And there's been some crazy things going on this year already. But um, like I said in every other video, the good Lord has us on his mind all the time. He has our best interests at heart, and he is going to take care of us every step of the way. So just finding that little Bible and getting it as a gift just really picked up my spirit. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you um, liked my finds. Um, tell me below what your favorite find was for this video. Did you see anything that I should have grabbed that I didn't? Um, and I hope you all have a very blessed week. Um, if you're local here in Chilton County, Alabama, or in the southeast, be careful. We are going to have some really bad weather tomorrow, but I'm just praying that the good Lord will take care of it and it will just go away and we won't have any more issues. People around here have experienced a lot of grief and heartache the last couple of years with some dangerous weather um, and just people all over the country. And there's so much hardship going on right now. But um, y'all just continue to pray for each other and lift each other up. And we know that God is in control and everything's going to be just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off now before my dog has a fit. He's ready for us to go outside and play before the rain comes back. But be blessed. I'll see you next time. Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, be looking for some spring video, um, spring decoration videos. Um, maybe some decorate with me videos. I don't really know yet exactly how I'm going to do it. But also this weekend, me and several of my aunts and cousins are going to be going up to North Alabama to go to a vintage show. So I'm definitely going to film there. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And I'm going to get off here for Buster Brown gets a whooping. Bye.